Hey everyone, it's Ryan and welcome back to the Syntax Byte. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get buttons to capitalize or lowercase text on your Excel ribbon, uh, very similar to Word. So if you go over to Microsoft Word here um, and you highlight this sentence, uh, for example, there's a button here uh, where I can change the case uh, of the word. And uh, if you want buttons like these, um, on uh, Excel, Excel doesn't have a button, but you can add one. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on this in this video and so that uh, will be available to you. Um, so going over to Excel here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a personal macro uh, for these functions and then we can customize the ribbon uh, to add a button to run uh, those macros uh, and then the end result will be quite similar to uh, what is available in Word. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you don't have this developer tab here, is you wanna enable that. So you're gonna right click, customize the ribbon, and just make sure that you check uh, that developer box. Uh, once that's been done, you're gonna go over to record macro. And the reason that we're gonna start by recording a macro is just to make sure that you actually have a personal macro workbook. Otherwise, it might not show up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call mine upper. Uh, or I could call uppercase, I guess. Um, I'm not going to add a shortcut key. You definitely can uh, if you want a shortcut key for this as well. Um, and then very important, I'm going to store the, mac uh, the macro in personal macro workbook. If you store it in the individual file that you're editing, then these uh, functions will only be available in that file and they won't be available in any uh, Excel workbook that you're working on. So you do want to make sure that you have personal macro workbook selected. That's going to be key. Um, and then I'm just gonna click OK and I'm gonna like select a cell and then stop recording. Um, and then I'm gonna go into Visual Basic. And you'll see here if I go under personal.xlsb uh, and I go under modules, there's module one and we have this uppercase macro. Um, and right now what it does is it selects uh, the cell D1 uh, because that's what I did uh, while I was recording. Obviously a pretty useless uh, macro, uh, but we've kind of got the shell of our macro here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste some code. Um, feel free to pause the video. I'll give a quick walkthrough of what this code does. Um, and then we can copy and paste it a few more times to change uh, whether we're doing uppercase, lowercase, et cetera. And then I will show you how to add them to the ribbon because I think that's kind of the key part uh, in all of this. If you've never coded in VBA before, don't worry, you could just copy this. I'll also have a link to my site down in the description where you can copy the code uh, into, your, into your workbook. So. Uh, no concerns if you haven't uh, actually coded before. So I'm just gonna copy in um, this macro though. So basically um, we create a variable here called cell, um, which is, you know, you know, we're gonna loop the current selection. So one of the things with this macro is we want that if we select multiple cells, we want it to apply to all of those cells. So we're gonna go through each individual cell that is selected um, and then we're going to uh, capitalize that. Um, so then there's a simple check here. We're gonna make sure that the cell is not empty and that the cell actually contains a string. If it contains a number, we don't wanna do anything with that uh, because you can't really capitalize a number. So uh, we wanna make sure that's actually a string of text that we can capitalize. Um, and then finally, we just want to uh, set that to uppercase, uh, uppercase text. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add two others as well, uh, one for lowercase and one for proper case, um, which is gonna capitalize the first letter of each word. Um, you could just copy and paste this and then change the name. So for, uh, for lowercase, literally gonna change the name to lowercase. I'll change the comment here so everything looks clean. And then instead of U case, we're gonna use L case. And it's really as simple as that to add the lowercase. Um, and then we can go ahead and add just one more. I'm gonna call this uh, proper case. Perfect, so proper case. This one is a little bit different. What we need to do is cell.value equals strconf, uh, so string convert, then we pass the value, as well as we pass vb proper case, okay? Um, you could also do something similar for uh, uppercase, lowercase, um, just by passing uh, that there, but um, the L case and U case uh, functions are just a little bit nicer. So with that being done, I'm now gonna save my personal macro workbook and I'm gonna exit uh, the editor here. 
So of course you can always call these by just going over to the developer tab, uh, opening up macros um, and doing run. So if we wanna go uppercase, we could see that that worked. Um, but if we want it to work like Microsoft Word where it's actually on the ribbon, here's how we can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go over to home. Um, I would prefer to have this on the home spot in the ribbon. And I'm gonna go to customize ribbon. I'm gonna make a new group here. Um, right after the font. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a, create a new group. I'm gonna call this uh, text case. And in text case, I'm gonna go over to macros and then I'm gonna move these over. So I'm gonna add that one. I'm gonna add proper case, I'm gonna add uppercase. Of course, I'm gonna rename them. So I'm gonna say lowercase, proper case, and uppercase. Okay, um, you could change how you name them. And then I'm also going to uh, just change uh, the icon. Uh, we can use this uh, nice little text icon here. For them. Okay, uh, so you could select whatever icon uh, you think looks best and name them however you like. And then you just click okay. You can also put them wherever on the ribbon you think is most suitable. I think just beside the font uh, is good. If I go ahead and save that, we can see that now there's this new section on the ribbon that's popped up. And if I go ahead and highlight this, I can do proper case, lowercase, uppercase. It'll do the ones uh, that I've selected and uh, that's all well and good. You'll also see um, that if I just close Excel and I reopen Excel and I go here, um, you will see that I, I still have them and if I put you know hello there and I click uppercase um, That is all working. So that is how you can add buttons uh, to uh, Change the text case uh, on Microsoft Excel uh, using your personal macro workbook I hope that was helpful for you guys if it was definitely uh, Please leave a like on the video if you want to learn more uh, Excel stuff like this I do lots of Excel videos uh, on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe um, and I will catch you in the next video.